Hey, what's up everybody? Justin Sardi, founder and CEO of TubeSift. And on today's post, we're gonna be talking all about troubleshooting your video ads. Now, a lot of people have come to me and asked, how come I can't get my YouTube ads to spend? Uh, I put this much for a budget, it says it's gonna spend, and it's not spending. And we're gonna talk all about how and why that happens and break down each step of the process that will help you make sure your ads spend the budget that you want them to spend every single day so you can continue growing and scaling your business. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, YouTube has made a, not even a couple, they've made a lot of very big changes, or Google Ads has made a lot of very big changes to the way that their ad platform works over the past year or so. They've introduced things like Target CPA, uh, originally, you were just able to target based on max cost per view, which was great. Uh, but then they recently introduced uh, target CPA as well as maximize conversions. And so what I want to talk about today is why bidding strategy is so key. So as you can see on the screen right here, I'm showing a little screenshot of target CPA versus maximize conversions. Now, what those are is those are essentially ways for Google to go in and optimize your campaign. And by optimize your campaign, I mean show your ad to people that Google knows are most likely to convert. Uh, and they're gonna go in and optimize your campaign, either spend more or less. So you might actually end up spending a couple dollars per view on one specific person. However, that person is 10 times more likely to convert into a buyer for you. So Google's gonna show your ad to those people over people who are cheaper per view, but might not convert, if that makes sense. So. And we've got these different bidding strategies, and these are the number one reason that your ads will get hung up, especially on a new account. So if you have a brand new account and you haven't ran any conversions through your account, um, you're going to need to set up your conversion tracking pixel, and that actually goes for all of these things, like target CPA and maximize conversions. You have to have a conversion tracking pixel set up because Google's going to find that conversion tracking pixel and be like, okay, this is how much we're paying to make a conversion. And it's gonna start optimizing your campaigns based on that. Now we can also set up conversion action sets, and that's a whole nother blog post that we will be making soon. Uh, once it's ready, we'll be dropping it below this as well. Uh, we'll talk all about conversion action sets and how to let Google know which specific conversion actions to be optimizing for. Now you can always check out our blog post on setting up conversion tracking. Uh, we do have that below this post as well. So check that out because that is obviously a predecessor to knowing how to set all of this stuff up. So we've got target CPA and maximize conversions. With target CPA, you're able to say, hey Google, I want to pay $10 for a conversion, right? Well, if Google has no data on what a typical conversion costs for you, a lot of times they won't run your ads because they don't want to overspend on that $10 you're saying you want to pay. And we'll talk about how to fix that in a second here. The other one is maximize conversions. That one's a great place to start if you have no conversions through your pixel at all yet. Now you can go maximize conversions and Google will then just get as many conversions for your budget as possible. And over seven or so days, Google's gonna learn with these different goals and it's gonna try and make sure that it gets you the most conversions for your dollar amount, right? So uh, most conversions based on the amount of ad spend. Now, the other thing right here uh, is max cost per view. This is another type of bidding strategy. Now, the way to get max cost per view is to set up a campaign without a goal. So when you go in to set up a campaign on Google, you'll have a bunch of different goals like leads, sales, website traffic, brand awareness, things like that. If you choose one of those, Google's gonna ask you, how do you wanna pay, right? And that's gonna be the target CPA, or uh, maximize conversions. Well, if you go no goal, you have the option to do max cost per view, and that's gonna come into play in a few minutes here. Now, let's talk about exactly how to troubleshoot your ads, and I will be jumping over to Google Ads and talking all about this in a second here, but first I wanna cover how you troubleshoot your ads. So number one, you're gonna to wanna to check your bidding method. You're gonna to wanna to figure out which bidding method you used, um, because if Google's optimizing for conversions, like I mentioned, and you have no conversion data, they don't quite know what to optimize on. So sometimes it's best to start with a no goal and get a couple conversions so Google knows, okay, this is about what's going on. Now we can start to push some traffic to it. 
Um, number two, the tip number two, and this one works extremely well, or this one only works with target CPA. Uh, what I like to do is if it's not spending, start by bumping your target CPA up to something like $100. Let's say you're doing webinar registrations and you wanna pay $10 per webinar registration. You're gonna to wanna to bump your target CPA up to $100. Now I know that sounds crazy and nobody wants to pay 100 bucks for a webinar registration. However, when you do that, it gives Google's algorithm some time to, uh, or some, some room to basically run some traffic. You might start off paying a little bit more than 10 bucks, but it's really gonna to start to figure out what's going on. And once you get a couple, it'll, it'll open the, the traffic floodgates up, if you will. And once you get a couple of those conversions coming through, you can start to bump that target CPA down. So once a day, let's say I started at 100 bucks, we start to get two or three conversions at, you know, whatever, 15, 20 bucks. I'll bump that target CPA down to $50, and from there, uh, I'll let it run for another day. It'll get some for 20 bucks, you know, 15, 20 bucks again. You bump it down again to $25. And you just keep bumping it down day by day, but you're still giving Google's algorithm enough to run with that ad and make sure that everything's working. So that's tip number two. Uh, number three, I like to duplicate the campaign. Let's say you're going with Target CPA and it just will not spend. I like to duplicate that campaign and then change that bidding method to say maximize conversions and see if that works. And if all else fails after you know bumping up your target CPA, maximize conversions isn't working, then it's time to go set up a campaign with no goal and go max cost per view. This will almost guarantee that your ad is gonna show because you're just telling Google, don't worry about conversions, only worry about the most that I want to pay per view. Now in the past, there weren't calls to action on the videos where you had no goal. Recently, they've added calls to action. So honestly, the max cost per view is a great place to start if you're just getting started. So let's go ahead and jump over to Google Ads. I'm gonna show you how to duplicate these campaigns, how to figure out which of your bidding methods you're using, if you're letting Google optimize your campaigns or not, and then we'll walk through the troubleshooting steps. So let's go ahead and jump over. We'll dive right in. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure your campaign is enabled. And to do that, uh, you're gonna click over here, like into the campaign itself, and uh, or not enabled, but make sure that it has uh, been approved, right? So you go into the actual campaign itself, and then you'll go to ads and extensions. And what you will see is a status over here. Now mine says pause, campaign paused, um, but what this will say is approved, right? Uh, and you can kind of, some of these are disapproved, some uh, like right here, campaign pause, disapproved, right? This is a video we ended up deleting from, uh, from YouTube and I, they just disapproved it when we pushed some tracking parameters through. But basically, uh, if it says disapproved or pending, um, then you're not, your ad's not even approved. So you wanna make sure that it's approved first and that's what you're gonna wanna check for, right? Uh, you can see some of these are like disapproved. We had this weird thing go on when we pushed some tracking parameters through and a bunch of dead landing pages were up um, and COVID got all weird. But, uh, but yeah, you're, like this is disapproved so it's not gonna run. Right? So you wanna make sure you have an ad that's able to run and it's gonna say like eligible or just um, you know running, something like that. That is what you do first. Now second, what you're gonna do, let's just come over to, uh, to one of these over here. And um, for instance, if something's not running, you go into your campaign and then you're gonna go to settings. And what you're gonna see is a budget up here and then you're gonna see down here, I'm trying to drive conversions and I am doing target CPA, right? So bidding right here, target CPA. If you're doing target CPA or maximize conversions, just switch it, right? I like to duplicate, I like to pause the campaign, duplicate it, and uh, then edit the new one and change it to the other one right there. So you can do that, try target CPA and max conversions. If it's not running with target CPA, throw like a hundred dollar target CPA right here. It will start running and then over the next couple days, just bump it down to what you actually wanted it to be. I cut it in half one day, cut it in half the next day until uh, you get it to where you want it to be and that will work as well. Uh, if all else fails, my last step for you is to come over here and create a new campaign. And you wanna create a new campaign without a goal or guidance and you go video campaign, uh, whatever one you wanna choose here. And you can see max cost per view. 
right? That's what you want, max cost per view. And then when you set this up, you say your max cost per view is whatever, like, you know, 10 cents or something like that. Max cost per view should definitely let your campaigns run. Um, with those other two, it's, you know, trying to optimize, like I was mentioning, and you're gonna need to make sure that um, you have some conversions through there. And sometimes it still gets a little weird, even with my account, uh, and I've ran hundreds of thousands of dollars through this account, so. Uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's it for the uh, tutorial part. Now, that's it for me on this post. As always, if you liked this video, please give us the thumbs up on YouTube. Jump on over to YouTube, subscribe to us. It definitely helps us uh, know which content's working, what you want to hear more of, and uh, kind of encourages me to help make you more content, right? Um, leave a comment below, either on the blog or on our YouTube channel. And as always, you can jump over to tubesift.com, sign up for a monthly or an annual license, and get a huge ROI on all of your video ad campaigns. So that is it for me on this video. Bye for now.